16th of August, I was at Lord's watching a game of cricket, unless it was one of the days when it rained. Um, but on the WTO issue, our trade with the United States on WTO terms, and I know the Honourable Gentleman is an expert in these matters, has grown faster since the creation of the single market than our trade with the European Union. But I understand my right honourable friend wishes to intervene. I am very grateful to my right honourable friend for giving way. I, I understand his views and his concerns about the constitutional, supposed constitutional irregularity of these proceedings, and no doubt in the future all these things can be debated. Will he accept that we stand as a nation at present, uh, at a moment which will have a profound effect on the welfare of our people, and that the sovereign parliament of this country clearly deserves an opportunity to be able to decide whether it will accept a policy of no deal exit or not, and that that overwhelmingly matters more than whether the uh, Standing Order 24B clause with where in it, no, misdrafted in all probability no. by the then Leader of the House, has a particular meaning or does not have a particular no, meaning. Yeah. 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 There is, Mr Speaker, I'm sorry to say, a stunning arrogance to that view. Yeah. And it fails, it fails to understand where sovereignty comes from. So I do indeed dare to say this, and I say that to the right honourable gentleman. Because order, order, order. The, order. I, I recognise that there are strongly held views on both sides of the House on all aspects of this matter, but the Leader of the House must be heard. The Leader. Mr Speaker, sovereignty in this House comes from the British people, and the idea that we can overrule 17.4 million people is preposterous, and the idea, and the idea, the idea that our rules do not exist to protect the people from arrogant power grabs is mistaken. Those rules are there for the protection of the people. I have given way so many times, and to many distinguished members, 